What's up guys welcome to Apex thanks for tuning in I just want to keep you guys posted about this all new update we have received on the iPhones this is the iPhone 14 Pro Max here and I'm sure most of the iPhone users would have got this update already as you can see the version number here is iOS 16.0.3 and the update size is 1.21 GB though this update does not add any new features it's a very very important update which fixes a lot of bugs as you can see in the change log it says incoming call and application notifications may be delayed or not delivered on iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max. So if you have bought these latest iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max, you may be facing this delayed incoming call and app notifications that will be fixed with this update. But as far as my phone is concerned, I did not face this issue. The second one is low microphone volume can occur during CarPlay phone calls on iPhone 14 models. Now, this is something which I faced regularly. Whenever I connected the phone to the car through Apple CarPlay wirelessly, the microphone volume was very low. The other person on the call was not able to hear me properly. So that is the issue which I've been facing. And this update should fix this issue. The third bug fix is related to the camera. The camera may be slow to launch or switch between modes on iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max. If you are facing this issue on your device, this update should fix it. The last one is mail crashes on launch after receiving a malformed email. Malformed mails are nothing but the mail formats which are incorrect or which are not as per the device specified format. So if you have received any such mails, it just crashes on the launch. So that has been fixed now. Even if you receive a malformed email, it is not going to crash after this update. Apparently, all these bugs have been faced by the iPhone 14 series, the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max specifically. So I'm not really sure if the older models or the previous gen iPhones also have received the same change log on their phone. Do let me know in the comment section below whether you have got the same change log or it is different. Since I do not have the previous versions of the iPhones, I do not have that information. So let me know in the comment section. And if you are one of those 14 Pro or 14 Pro Max users, be sure to check the update. Just go to the settings, tap on general. Here you'll see software update. Just tap on this, just tap on download and install. Since it's a huge update, it might take some time for the installation. So be patient and install the update. That's all I want to share with you guys. I have done a bunch of videos regarding the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And I also create contents on the Galaxy phones and comparison videos between the Galaxy phones and the iPhones. If you're interested in these topics or if you want to know your phone better, be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button if you find this video useful. That's about it. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.